Okay, on this example, we wanna find some angle theta between three pi over two and two pi, such that our cosecant of theta is gonna be negative two. So a little bit different type of problem. Um, as you can see, I've already put our quadrantal angles over on the axes over here. Um, so between three pi over two and two pi, that means it's gonna be fitting into the fourth quadrant. So I'm just gonna draw an angle into the fourth quadrant, probably not gonna be the scale. All right, and we need to find the angle that wraps around starting from the initial position at the x-axis all the way around here. It's gonna give us cosecant of theta is equal to negative two. Well, cosecant is the reciprocal from sine. So we can say that means sine of theta, sorry, that's negative two over one is the reciprocal here would be negative one half. Now sine has to be negative because it's in the fourth quadrant, right? Between three pi over two and two pi. According to all students take calculus, only cosine and its reciprocal secant are gonna be positive in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so what we really wanna do is I'm gonna to try to find this reference angle sitting right here. I'm gonna call that theta bar. Um, and I'm gonna use that reference angle to figure out exactly which angle drawn out in blue wraps around all the way into the fourth quadrant. All right, so hopefully we kind of have down these special angles, the pi over six, pi over four, pi over three and their identities. So we're really trying to figure out when is um, sine gonna equal one half, all right? And the rest will kind of take care of itself because the sine is supposed to be a negative in the fourth quadrant anyway. All right, so it looks according to our table here that sine is gonna be a one half at pi over six. So that's telling me that this reference angle is pi over six. Next, what we wanna do is use that reference angle and figure out what else makes up the rest of the way around the circle. So the rest of the way around the circle, the whole circle is gonna be two pi. And I'm gonna call this theta because that's what they told us, would be all the way around the circle would be two pi, but I have to take away that pi over six that reference angle that wasn't included, right? What's in red in our diagram. All right, so this can be written as 12 pi over six minus pi over six is gonna be 11 pi over six. And that's the angle we're looking for. All right, hope this helps out. Um, using reference angles is important. Remember reference angles are always drawn to the x-axis. So depending on which quadrant you're given, um, you may be taking pi plus the reference angle or pi minus the reference angle, just depending on making sure you have the right quadrant. All right, hope this helps.